Hi Pisces, welcome to our daily reading. Let's have a look and see what's going on. At the time you watch this video, keep an open mind, take only what resonates, disregard the rest, don't force anything to fit, always trust your own discernment. These are general readings at the end of the, of the day. Um, for any significant Pisces placements you may have, Six of Swords, moving on from Chaos, Conflict, Peace, being at peace. Okay. Um, I forgot what I was saying. For any significant Pisces placements, um, if you're cross-watching, this could resonate. If you have no Pisces placements that you know of, it's just a house in your chart, but you still find your way here. Trust that guidance. There are messages here for you. And thank you all for your likes, your shares, your beautiful comments, and your feedback, and for subscribing to the channel and growing our little, our little community. Let's see what we got going on for Pisces. What's going on for Pisces at the time they watch this video? What they need to know for their highest good. Pisces. At the time they watch this video. All right. I just feel like You know that pause when you've just got out of something challenging and difficult and there was just a lot to deal with? I just, and with the Six of Swords, it makes sense where you just take a, take a moment and breathe and you go, okay, that's done. Okay, weight is lifted. Now let's just, let's keep going now. Let's put one foot in front of the other and move into the, a better place, a different place. Okay, that's what I feel. So that could just be a side message for some of you. We'll see if it comes in the comes out in the spread. So bottom of the deck here, we have the Page of Cups is the overall energy. And this is good news. This is happy news. This is a message you were hoping to receive. This is news you were hoping to get. This could be someone complimenting you, showing you attention and affection, praising you. Could also be some sort of apology. Could also be some sort of expression of, of love and caring okay and love is love it's not just romantic so just keep that in mind good news about children pregnancy could be a new offer a new invitation that makes you very happy okay let's see current situation king of cups it could involve another water sign cancer scorpio pisces or you could be sending these messages out today um or this is someone offering you help, offering you support, offering you caring energy, nurturing energy. Can I help you with this? Can I put you in touch with that person? Okay. Can be offer of love, can be invitation. Let's see. In the challenge position here, we have the nine of pentacles. Single energy, independent energy happy single I got everything I want I got everything I need I can take care of everything myself maybe that was an issue for some maybe money was a factor for some in terms of what you're trying to achieve in the foundation here's the six of swords yeah some it could be a case of if you're dealing with another water sign and that could be in their sun, their moon, their rising. They get a lot of stuff going on in water signs in their chart. I don't, you know, it depends. But um, the issue is, or the issue might have been, either them or you needed to walk away from something to become single in order to start something new together, right? And that could also be to do with business. Someone had to walk away from another job potentially to set up their own business in order to collaborate with this king of cups right become a contractor become an entrepreneur or this is where you've been saving money to prepare to buy a home or to move okay because whatever the situation you were in before it might have just been messy chaotic unpleasant and the King of Cups could now be, either they're helping you get the money you need or they're helping you with a place to stay or they're helping you, putting you in touch with people who can give you the resources you need. 
they're offering you the job you want in the recent past judgment oh yeah someone this devil an ending happened someone released something it's done okay and in order to come your way or this could have been you because you want to focus more on yourself Focus more on your business, focus more on your family, your personal goals. You want to be single for a while and just live life and enjoy yourself. Or you want to start something new somewhere else, okay? But there has been a purging. There has been a release, a rebirth. If an ending happened previously, this is where someone just kind of kept themselves to themselves as they were healing and recovering right to get themselves in a position where they feel stable and they feel like they have something to offer they feel like they're ready to put themselves back out there and so they could now be approaching you or be open to you approaching them if they weren't in the past what's on the mind yeah four of wands like i say this could be about a new job a new home moving in with someone starting a new relationship starting a home business Promotion, growth, expansion, putting down roots somehow. That's what's on the mind. That's the intent. Okay. So what's happening today? We have the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus for Go Capricorn Energy. We have the Five of Cups. Someone walked away from something, I'm telling you, in the Page of Swords. Truth, honesty, communication this is a case of someone could be getting some bad news for you to get some good news okay because we do see that something is falling apart in order for something needs to start so this could be where someone is getting bad news page of swords five of cups hey this is done i'm out i'm quitting this isn't working out i'm leaving whatever for you to get good news or you're giving someone bad news in order to accept something new. Right? Which would make sense. Someone could have walked away from an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, to come your way. For others, again, someone had to spend some time getting themselves back on their feet after a loss, whether that's breakup, separation, divorce, loss of a job, loss of income. Um, any other type of loss in their life someone took some time the challenge with the nine of pentacles is i don't want to deal with anything i don't want to deal with anyone i don't want to attach myself to anything i'm i'm working on myself i'm recovering i'm healing or i'm just working on bettering myself after some sort of transition transformation rebirth major ending in my life to where now with the queen of pentacles that's evolved energy from the nine of pentacles to the queen of pentacles it almost feels like now someone's ready to be open, be receptive to collaboration, to partnership, to working together, to putting down roots somehow, right? To making a, a house into a home, to, you know what I mean? Okay, so let's see. Let's get more cards out. What's, what's going on for Pisces here? What's the King of Cups in the current energy? Death card, listen. I'm telling you, you can't make this up. And again, you have the, the, I always forget the name of this thing until two days after I do a reading. And then I'm like, oh, that's what it's called. It's not a timekeeper. <laughs> oh my God. The sands of time. What is that? What is that? Please comment if you know the word. It's completely eluding me right now. I can think of it in two other languages, not English, which is great. That's very helpful. Um, it's not a time turner. That's a Harry Potter thing. Anyway, it's just highlighting for me that there is some sort of time up in a situation. And if someone set a deadline for themselves, they've reached that deadline. So now they're taking action. There's been there's been a massive ending, a massive change, a massive transformation, either for you personally, if this is you, or for someone you're dealing with. Okay. Wow.
there has been a departure there has been a release and this could be someone walking away from an addiction it doesn't have to be breakup separation divorce loss of a job it could be but this could also be internally where someone transformed they did some healing work they did some shadow work transformed whatever insecurities they had to where now they're feeling confident they weren't feeling confident before they weren't feeling independent they might have been codependent now that's not the case right so it could have been that kind of transformation but massive transformation has happened here the nine of pentacles in the challenge position the world whoa big cycles completing someone completed a cycle that was um, a bunch of karmic lessons in that cycle not easy ones um it took a it took a lot out of this person so it would make sense if it's you or someone else it would make sense that they would just need a minute to just get themselves together figure out what the hell just happened and also like okay where do i go from here who am i now how who do i want to be what do i want to do with my life for others of you again it has to do with travel relocation starting a new cycle but you want it's something that you want to see last there's also a mismatch here where someone recognizes i found what i was looking for but i don't feel ready for it so i found the perfect home but i don't have enough money i found the perfect person but i don't feel like i'm good enough right and again it comes from insecurity so they might have had to go do some digging figure out where that comes from do some healing right I found the perfect job, but I'd have to travel for it. I don't, I'm not ready to travel. I don't want to travel. That's too much. I'm not comfortable doing that. But it sparked, it put them on a path towards healing because it wasn't going away. They kept thinking about it. They kept dreaming about it. So it's like, okay, why can't I do that again? Let me know. Let me, let me just hold on. So they started going through the, you know, things you say, because you've always said them, but you don't really pause to question if they make sense to you anymore or not. That's the kind of situation this is. And so the more they couldn't stop thinking about this full package type of opportunity that was presented to them, it got them to the point of why can't I do that again? What, what, what is my reason? Hold on. What, what was it? To where they said you know what actually that's just bs i'm just i don't know where that comes from but that does that's just not true that's just not true that's not true anymore that's not true anymore so they just left a bunch of things places people ways of being ways of thinking big big massive transformation here with judgment and death card part of someone maturing part of someone growing up part of someone i don't care how old you are right conquering fears healing trauma okay six of swords in the foundation two of pentacles i'm telling you this is someone who's hasn't been able to stop thinking about this and it might have given them some trouble um created some chaos inner conflict inner turmoil should i shouldn't i could i no i can't okay why can't i maybe i could oh no i can't no but I'm, am i sure maybe i could that's been this person to the point where they decided you know what it's not i can't stop thinking about this i'm gonna have to do something about it i'm just gonna i'm just gonna i gotta do what i gotta do okay that's the energy and for a lot of you this has to do with shedding purging other people's opinions of you other people's attachments to you other people's expectations of you okay because whatever this world card is it was just for you now everyone gets to come you can't bring everyone uh or it's a case of it would make sense to you only to you maybe it wouldn't make sense to anyone else right that was the challenge and you had to be in a position of feeling confident enough within yourself to say you know what you don't have to get it you can have all opinions you want about it i'm not interested i'm doing it right Okay, judgment in the recent past. Yep, three ones. An ending has happened. A purging has happened. A release has happened. This is someone saying, I'm done with the past. I'm done with the old, whatever that means. I want new. I want new. I'm ready for new. I want this thing. 
okay? That they might have, again, seen as at a great distance from them, meaning unattainable, uh, unreachable, like they're not good enough for it, like they don't have access to it somehow. Now they're ready to close that distance. They're feeling a lot more confident, okay? We have the sun in Aries in this card. And ready, just ready. Because they want that four of wands. That's what they want. Four of wands on the mind. Yeah. A lot of healing has happened here. This is also, for some, um, anxiety and fear over what if I've missed my chance? What if I've missed my opportunity? Three of swords into the three of cups. A choice had to be made. Look at all these threes. Okay, and that could be between two people, that could be between two jobs, that could be between two situations, two opportunities, but it could also be when we try to entertain a new idea but still hold on to what we know and we have one foot in each world, a, a choice has to be made. We can't live like that forever. That's not a permanent situation, you know. And like I say, someone's getting bad news in order for someone to get good news. A relationship could be coming apart in order for a new one to start. And that could be personal, it could be professional. Okay. But, wow. All right. Queen of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Page of Swords. What else is going on here? Seven of Wands, the Sun, and the Fool. This is someone giving someone bad news, saying, no, it's done, it's over, I quit, I'm moving out. Not a negotiation, not a debate, taking a very firm stand. Because with the son and the fool, they found what they're looking for. They found what makes them happy. They found, I heard, they found their forever, whatever that means. Forever home, forever person, forever opportunity. And they're just so ready with the fool to go for it. They have confidence they have clarity the fool is you know taking a leap of faith in a new direction we don't know what's going to happen that's why it's called a leap of faith but for this person it's almost like no i don't know the specifics of what's going to happen but i have confidence i know for a fact this is going to be a, a good thing in my life this is going to be amazing in my life okay is that that kind of situation wow what else for Pisces? Yeah, see, the chariot, six of cups in the tower. Someone moved out. Someone moved on. They let the past crumble because it was just holding them back. It was just memories that was keeping someone somewhere. Nothing else, really. It's not something that had a, a solid footing anyway. It's not something that would have gone the distance anyway. It's not something that was stable to begin with it's the kind of thing where it's a project right it's a work in pro progress constantly it's always work it's always work it's always compromise it's always sacrifice it's always challenges it's so it's never just smooth and it might have been in the beginning and then it just went downhill from there and we keep hold on we keep holding on to the happy memories, the good old days, the good old times, and we keep trying to go back there and we keep trying to recreate them. And we don't even realize how much of our energy we put there and how much time goes by. And, I, and when we look at the situation that we've put so much of our energy, time, resources, money into, it's, it's still not right. It's still not right. But because we're so focused on keeping it going, we don't even realize how far down that rabbit hole we went. And then we have to crawl our way back out, right? But with the tower, this is complete clarity. Again, this is complete epiphany. This is like, okay, I know. I see things for exactly what they are. I see the past for what it is. I see the new for what it is. This is someone so confident with the chariot. And we have the sun energy in these cards quite a, a, a few times we have the actual sun card we have it over here in the full energy we have it in the six of cups we have mars energy in the tower we have aries energy 
everywhere, which tells me that this, whoever this is, is now taking action, taking initiative, making stuff happen, going for what it is that they want, what it is that they have complete clarity is, is for them. That's their new chapter. And something's falling apart in order for this new thing to start, whatever that may be. With all these major arcanas especially, it can be literally anything, okay? Definitely seeing new home for some of you or a new living situation, new job, but it's almost like it's a whole new career altogether or it's in a completely different industry or different field or it's a completely different way of making money if you're going down the entrepreneurship route. Um, route or route. Um, you could be relocating like overseas for some of you with the Six of Swords in the world, like far away from where you are. Whatever it is that you recognized as that would be amazing, that's everything I ever wanted with the world card, and you told yourself, but I can't have it, or I don't have access to it, but I can't reach it. Whatever that is, you're closing that gap and you're going for it. If this is you, if this is someone you're dealing with, whether you're aware of what they've been going through or not, they've been going through a very deep healing process, transformation process, epiphany after epiphany after epiphany. I'm, I got the chills to where they felt like they weren't ready. They felt like they weren't good enough. They felt like they weren't, you know, they were lacking somehow or they were stuck somewhere else. They couldn't leave. They couldn't do, they couldn't, you know, this person has release this person has purged this person has come to a place of confidence feeling ready feeling good enough feeling i'm doing this i don't care i don't care what else i, I gotta have walk away from i don't care this is my life this is my forever thing this is going to be amazing for me i firmly believe that chariot sun tower fool world no question in my mind no doubt in my mind you can't stop this person, okay? That's that's this energy. They're putting boundaries, whatever need to put boundaries. They're cutting whatever need to cut. It's the it's not a question, okay? Where in the past, they really really struggled. That's what was terrifying them: the fact that they had to walk away from some things or massively change some things in their life to pursue this. And they weren't even sure they could get it. They weren't even sure they were good enough for it. They weren't even sure. So this has been a lot of chaos and, and murkiness and confusion in this person. But the longer time passed and the more they looked at this opportunity, it sparked healing in them. It sparked, it was some sort of catalyst for change, right? And they kept going back and forth. I should go for it. And then, well, no, I can't because of this, because of that, because of this. And they, they would leave it for a little bit. And then they'd see it again or come across it again and be like, no, I should really go for this. It's amazing. This is perfect for me. Oh, but I can't. Why? Why? Wait a minute. Why can't I? Oh, because of this and that and that. Oh, well, I don't know if that really makes sense anymore, but okay. And then they left it. And then they did it again. And then they went, well, well actually, out of the five reasons I had, three of them don't make sense anymore. And that's what's been going on with this person. Things have slowly went away. Things have slowly detached or they have slowly detached from things. They have slowly changed their perspectives on things, their beliefs on things. To the point where they have complete clarity and confidence that whatever this world energy is, is what they want, it's what they deserve, it's everything they could ever want, and it's going to be amazing in their life. And they also have the confidence to go for it, to go after it. Wow. Under the Page of Cups, yeah, see, Knight of Wands, that's just confidence on wheels. I'm making it happen, I'm going for it, I'm taking action. Towards the Queen of Cups, King and Queen of Cups here, okay, Divine Pair, Queen of Wands, Seven of Swords, they had to walk away from something else. They had to walk away from a person or a group of people or their own insecurities. The Queen of Wands with the Seven of Swords could be insecurity and self-sabotage and tendencies. Temperance, they found balance within themselves and they're ready to come into union with the opportunity of a lifetime. 
they had to walk away from things. Here's that confusion, okay, to where now they're like, I don't care. I'm doing it. Knight of Swords, Ace of Swords. Wow, Pisces. You're going to have to tell me what this is. If this is you, what have you overcome? What have you released? What are you walking away from? And it could all be internal. But again, see, the decision flew out. It's done. And it's not, It, no doubt. There's no doubt in this person's mind. And this is something you've been aware of. This thing, this opportunity, this person, this home has been on the market for a while, this job, the listing's still up and it's been a while, right? The post is still up and it's been a while. It's that, and you've kind of been explaining yourself, explaining to yourself why you can't go for it. But it hasn't gone away. It's that situation. And it's pushed you to make some changes. It's pushed you to release some things. It's pushed you to change your mind change how you feel change your approach to things see the guy there's been a lot of lessons learned let's go so it's king of cups again cancer scorpio pisces energy is significant but you're trusting that guidance the epiphanies you've had the knowledge you've gained, the wisdom you've gained, you're trusting it, you're using it. You're not just trusting it, you're applying it. And like I say, someone's getting bad news in order for you to get good news. Because someone has the complete clarity, complete truth. This is what I want. This is this is my life. Oh man, I'm telling you. Love. True love, whether it's with a person or a thing. Or a place. This is what makes you happy. The fool. The sun. No doubt. No doubt in your mind. Okay. What else does Pisces need to know about this? Travel and mail. There's news coming your way from a distance. Or you're responding. You're replying. Um, signing paperwork. Ag agreeing to things. Accepting things. You're receiving communication, could be something in the mail, paperwork, documentation, clarity, confirmation. For others of you, this is invitation. Someone wants to see you. They're asking you to meet them somewhere. They want to see you to tell you about all of this, basically. Definitely seeing traveling in these cards. Could be short distance or long distance definitely okay delays the advisor and memories yeah someone kept putting something off because of past because of memories because of uh, old ways of being old ways of thinking old ways of doing things that has been a, the reason for procrastinating delaying this But no more. No more. The decision is final. It's clear. We have support. A stranger. Something new. Something new. You're starting something new. You're agreeing to something new. You're going for something new. But with the support energy, again, it's there's either an aspect of you have awareness of it. You have some familiarity with it. There's been some initial conversations. You, someone's encouraged you to pursue this. Um, yeah, with work. It's just transformation across the board. And then we have planning for Wands Energy success after misfortune and memories. You see, ending the past. And now you're planning for success somewhere else because you figured out where you want to go, what you want to do. And there's no doubt in your mind or whoever this is. Okay. All right. Thank you for the feedback. You said you liked the yes or no question at the end. 
so we're gonna keep doing that as well all right so let's see think of your question phrase it in a way where you need a yes or no answer the two of cups of judgment i'm telling you you found your whatever your happily ever after is you found it you recognized it and you're going for it the sun at the bottom of the deck i'm telling you you're going for it it's like i don't complete clarity it's like confidence on wheels if that's you or the person coming towards you okay okay so think of your question phrase it in a way where you need a yes or a no answer and then pick a number one two or three since we're being so specific i recommend only picking one number as not to confuse yourself but you trust your own guidance and discernment whatever messages you're getting follow that and choose as many numbers as you feel guided to and let's see what we got going on if the additional messages don't make sense to you just take your answer and if that doesn't make sense to you at the end of the day these are general so just keep that in mind all right okay is it a yes or a no for pisces one two or three is it a yes or a no for pisces two wow pisces here we go with the doozies again if you chose number one your answer is yes good news clarity confirmation communication if you chose number two, your answer is big fat yes with the star. Yes to whatever it is you're asking. That's just the bottom line with the star. Major arcana energy, so major yes. And if you chose number three, your answer is yes again with the three of wands. Yes, go for it. Yes, it's happening. Yes, it's coming. Yes, you should do this. Yes, you should go. Okay? But wow. Just look at it. Look at it. Okay? So Pisces, that is what I have for us today. Really, really awesome reading. Let me know how you resonate with it if you do. Um, is this you? Is this someone you're dealing with? What is this opportunity that was deemed as unattainable somehow? And now it's just like, no, that's it. That's for me. That's that's waiting for me. I'm going to go towards it, okay? Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave it here. Amazing reading. Hope you have a wonderful day. Um, and I'll see you in the next reading, okay? Bye for now.